Hello. All right. So this is probably my fifth video. So apologize. I'll apologize ahead of time for absolutely everything. And no, I don't want to get better at this. This is just um, exactly what I do. So I've had a couple of people ask me to show how I actually get this effect because it's a swipe followed by some balloon swipes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. I'm feeling sort of doomed. I you know, getting all ready and saying, hey, you better go to the bathroom ahead of time. And then I dumped my apron strings right into the toilet. So this is apron number two. Um, anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm going to use um, an off-white in the background. I prefer it when I'm making sort of a type of garden. All of my paints I have are pre-mixed. And they're a mixture of Floetrol. Probably about three to four parts Floetrol to one part paint. Um, I use all different types of paints. It depends. Uh, if I like the color, that's the paint I'm going to use. Some of my paints I put silicone in. Some of my paints I put a lot of silicone in. Um, Prussian blue is one of my favorite to have just a massive amount of silicone in. The silicone I use is unreadable, but it's um, unicorn art. I've been using this probably since I started painting. I'm going to say it's a year and a half now. Um, so let's get started. I think I've told you everything that you need to know. If not, I'll circle back. All right, so first, I'm going to start with the off-white. Just want to put a good coat across it, like you would if you were using white. I also do this in blue, so no silicone, same mix. I use this guy to spread it out. I don't know... Uh, I saw this someplace on YouTube. It's a OXO, O-X-O, and it's just a rubber spatula. But I've never used anything that works better than this because it really gives you the most even coat I've ever seen. And looks like I'm going to need some more. Yeah, I don't do a lot of videos because I don't think very good at them and it's a bit of a risk to try to do this in front of somebody or a bunch of somebody's and hope that it turns out and then you just didn't waste a heck of a lot of time doing a video all right that looks good to me sometimes on the edges I overdo it so the swipe works well when I come across with that and there we go a little bit thicker I just, I just use Michael's canvas, not the expensive one, just the regular one. I tried using the expensive canvases and I really didn't like how the paint flowed. So, um, makes my painting really economical. All right, we're good. So first is the green part, which is going to be the base, the base of the painting, this part here. So here we go. And then I add in various greens. I do a lot of gardens. It just seems to be my thing. I really enjoy them, so that's probably part of it. I really had a hard time coming back to painting. Um, probably back in March, I just, just couldn't for obvious reasons. Um, I'm still not painting at the same level I used to. Sort of makes me sad, but I do what I can. The setup I have, this is a dishwasher, uh, sorry, washing machine tray. And then I use yardsticks to sort of keep the canvas up off the bottom. And I have pins, just push pins, underneath each side so that I can transport it to a shelf that I dry things on. Not the best system, but it works. A little bit of this. I do end up adding a lot more green in if I don't like how my green turned out. Okay, up at the top, nice bead of the off white. And I use a couple things for swipes. A lot of them are just report covers, but I actually got this really nice heavy piece in a package of extra large canvases so I was absolutely thrilled I don't think I've used the canvas but I definitely stole the plastic part and I just lay it down here 
I whipped up one time and then tilt and slowly pull it back. Ah, it looks like I got a couple boogers in there. All fixable. Where those came from? Oopsie. There we go. Okay. Let me just wipe this off really quickly so it's ready for next time. And let's see the easiest way to get these out of here. I'm wondering where these came from. Well, obviously the off-white. Oh no. All right, so that part's done. Next part is building up the flowers. I don't actually do any of the pulling up the stems or any of that until I've got the flowers in there so they're directed the right way. And, oh, oh, that was almost bad. What I use is, well, this is a tray from like Instant Rice, because I save everything. And this came with, I think, the OXO um, spatula. So now, super simple. Make sure that you can see this. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, you can. Then I take the paints that I want to make um, the flowers with. I usually use three colors. And now I'm going to put my three colors just like blobs next to each other. That is awfully thick. I'm far from a perfectionist with my paint mix, so it can vary. Now the cool part, I use very, very deflated balloons. Um, I'm gonna have to pull this back over here for a couple reasons. Get ready with some paper towels because I do like to wipe in between. And here comes the simplest part. I guess I would call these tulips, but they could really be anything. So I've got my triangle. I'm gonna dip my balloon right in between all of the colors. I'm really just gonna swipe downward. Yep. That's simple. Uh, I think a little bit more brown on that one. I like to wipe the balloon off in between. A lot of people I've seen with swipes or kisses, whatever you want to call them, don't. But let's go that way. The colors that I'm using. This is a brown sienna, probably my favorite color to put on anything. I like it because it's darker than a red might be. Uh, the other one is, I think this is School Bus Yellow, and this is just orange. I don't know what the overall title is of it, but I'm getting some cells, which look pretty good. Okay, let's go there. Okay. Uh, there. And one here. I don't usually use two colors you know, two types of flowers, but I'm gonna, just for illustration purposes. So my next favorite, because this is almost like pansy colors. So same thing, one, two, and a slightly um, less yellow. So aquamarine blue, deep violet, and yellow, I have no idea what subcategory of yellow it falls into. So either, I typically run a couple balloons here, but I can't find my other one. Wait, there it is. Same thing, really deflated. I try to get it right in the middle. And again, I don't usually do two types in one, but hey, let's see what it looks like. Oh, I love that. Let's go there. Um, I think it's going to go there. So simple. I shouldn't have hit the green, but it's fine. All right. Hmm. say it's a waste of paint, but you use way more paint than you think. And that was the wrong yellow. Okay. 
This one, this group, wrong yellow. This one consistently using the wrong yellow. You really get some decent cells as time goes on. It's kind of this. Too much pain. Oh, I messed up my center. Okay, we'll just do this over a little different. Uh, I think I want one right there. And maybe right here. Alright, that's all of those. Let's put this over here. I'm a giant paint baster. I don't know, I guess I just don't have the patience to reuse stuff. Okay, now. For adding the greens because I'm gonna go ahead and add the stems now I use a couple things uh, just a paint palette knife I've used I have used popsicle sticks which is probably what I'm gonna use today a um, I don't know what these are stylus larger tip and then this is for clay actually um, and I just like them it's like a rubber tip and it gives me some control it doesn't necessarily press down as hard as some of the other ones all right, so let's get greens in here. Oops, tripping. Bumping into stuff. I think I'm just going to stick with the darker primarily. All right, let's see. This is going to be awkward. So I'm just going to hold it. Yeah, this is going to be awkward just because I've got... It's gonna be awkward because I have flowers on top of them, but hey, that's how they are in nature, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Super simple. I don't worry about it being super exact, but that's me. Could probably just go slower and get more control. Okay. more green if I don't wipe the stick well enough my green starts to fade and this green is sort of um, handmade it's got black in it so I took hooker green God knows why they call it hooker green I have no idea um, and then I add black because I really wanted a darker green and I haven't been able to find one that I liked alright so this is going to go there Oops. See, it's pretty easy. Definitely not difficult. Did I get everybody? I did. All right, I want this guy now. Um, and I think I did this. The last one I did. Hopefully, I'm not in the way of my hair. I don't know how people do those like amazing videos and all that. I guess I don't have the time or inclination. Anybody? Did I miss anybody? Looks like I missed this one. Alright, oh here. Maybe I missed this one. Alright. I'm gonna cheat and hopefully this will work. 
and it flattens out. It'll flatten out when it dries, except it might have a little green in there. Ick. I hate when that happens. Oh, this is going to be disastrous. This never turns out well, but hey, I'll try it. Let's see. Is it, it should flatten out, right? And dry, right? I guess I'll see tomorrow, I guess. Come on. I think I have coffee hands. Oh my God. Okay, well, hopefully that turns out. Oh, you know what I should do? This could make everything so much worse. Baby balloon. I'm gonna put one of these way up high. That enough. Wish me luck. Okay. I think it'll dry good. I do, I do. And then I'll just put another one there. Ooh, I like those. All right, let me go back. Uh, this one I think I'm not going to do much more than that to it. I'm thinking. All right, so there's the flower part. Let me get rid of some of this so I don't dump it all over the place. That's the one thing I think I don't like about these squirt bottles, or maybe it's just I'm a klutz, is I tend to knock them over. I'm going to need greens. The ones that I originally put down is what I usually put back on. Just putting caps on. Okay, uh, let's do this, see what we got. This is probably the worst torch out there, so don't buy it. I got it at Home Depot. The thing half the time doesn't even wanna work. So I got some decent cells at the bottom, which is good. All right, so here's what I usually do next. I like the bottom of it to be darker, and that's about what I'm gonna do down here. So first, I'm gonna shoot up off of the green, see what I get, and then I add to the bottom and I pull up from there. There is a swipe under here. So where's my... How do you lose things right in front of you? Not that, not that. Here it is. All right, let's see what I get if I just sort of squiggle in. Oh, and after every one, you got to wipe it because otherwise you'll just be pushing up. Um, it gets really sort of muddied by the white. And you're like that. And... I have some that I really go pretty far up with, um, and then some that I keep towards, the, I don't put, take the green up very far, and I don't like how much green I have, so we're gonna go like this. I use a heck of a lot less paint than I would if I was pouring. Oh, do I actually have a booger in here? I don't know. I've been having that problem lately, but to be honest, I got a lot of bad Floetrol uh, when it first came out. I was able to return most of it, and now I've been getting it. I just order it from Menards or the home store, and I have it delivered because it's not coming from the actual store then. It's coming from um, headquarters, I guess. And then it's a lot fresher. But boy, does that stuff stink when it goes bad. Okay, a little bit over here. Come on. Okay, I've always been tempted. There we go, okay. I just blew it out really hard. And I just dumped everything. So two choices. I can use the stick or I can use the palette. The palette I like because I can sort of use it a little bit different and get, I don't know, I think it looks a little bit leafier than just using 
the straight stick, which I'll use anyway. They'll both get used here. This isn't too bad. I'm glad because that's the last thing you want to do is an entire video and then realize, ooh, I don't like that. If you do these, most of the only people that are following this are in paint groups that I follow on Facebook. So please post it and tag me in it because I would absolutely love to see different variations and how you want to see a garden. This one's going to have a lot more green in it. All right, let's switch to popsicle stick. So much lack of technique here. But grass is like this, right? Sometimes I actually go with <clears throat> black or brown at the bottom because it just sets it really well. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think, I know this is like this crazy green, but I absolutely love some of the contrast in here. Just as nice. All right. I think I like it. I have some dots in here from the spilling paint or whatever. Oh, look, it turned out okay. That's going to be fine. That was a good fix. And I think I want this heavier. So dude, I just flipped this up. That would have been disastrous if it fell right on here. Okay, let's see what I got. Yeah, this is different. I've never really done this before. Not bad. Ooh, I like it. It sort of gives it a, a foundation. At least I like it. Okay. All right. I think I'm done. Get everything out of the way. Okay. There we go. It's exactly how I wanted to come out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great, I don't know, is it Saturday? A great Saturday. Oh, oh, I know. The next video I want to do is how to do one of these. These take a long time, so it's going to be a long video. Anyway, have a great day.